Deadly according to get jealous in this trial. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, hmm. Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Sure you will. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote pilot <gasps> and the wiping have been disabled. So, yeah, I say let's throw them a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a K9. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. Right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> Seriously? Black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still... Be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Alright. Alright, let's talk to some people. Oh, well. Talk to the dog. Uh, wolf? You're a one-of-a-kind prototype, right? Correct. I was originally conceived as a weapon to replace humans and cyborgs. Conversation and intelligent decision-making were deemed essential to the role. The project was eventually cancelled after three years in development. Why? I have intelligence, but I lack a specific quality essential to any combatant. What's that? The brutality. I am not human. Thus, I lack the brutality inherent to humanity. Mm. I was shut down, then revived, apparently on Sundowner's orders. Sundowner? But what's he want with you? Unknown. A manifestation of his sense of humor, perhaps. As a machine, I am more sensitive to my fellow man than an actual fellow man. This amused him. 
guy has an odd sense of humor. Doctor, I just take the doctor. about my fuel cells, the electrolytes. Do all military cyborgs use the same type? I'm not gonna run across anyone, you know, incompatible with me, am I? An excellent question. Your fuel cells, like any other, operate much in the same way as a typical battery. They do not need replacing after a single use, of course, and they do not require recharging. They do, however, require a fuel source. That much I know already. Yes, that. There are several different types of fuel cells. Phosphoric acid, MCFC, molten carbonate like yours, solid oxide, and so forth. Each type can be further divided into classes, each which runs on its own electrolyte material. However, all current military cyborg MCFCs run on the same one electrolyte. That's good news. Why all the same electrolyte, you ask? The answer lies in the catalysts that help make up your carbon nanotube musculature. It was breakthroughs in researching these catalysts and CNT manufacturing that enabled large-scale production. Breakthroughs that happened after all the data the Patriots were covering up finally leaked. It could not have happened without your help, Ryder. Science owes you a great debt. And I do as well. Working on your body has been quite... educational. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. That's, that's inspiring and creepy all at the same time. Courtney, what's going on? I can't believe Dolzai have blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzai have showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. That was called Sebakul. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Miss Trowell mentioned someone from her past. Any idea who that could have been? No. I checked her file again. Couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner, either. No. So you can The way she put it. It didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but other than the winds, Desperado's cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotion suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. So there's another character in this mystery. <laughs> it's funny how it's like slowly revealed during these um, codec conversations, but in the game it's like, yeah, it's like, hmm, interesting. How are things back in Abkhazia? Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty wow. impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. The refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Subsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, <laughs> few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. 
Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting them. Even if we shut Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, you really think they're interested in the pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Hmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went up in flames with Dolcayev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Find the evidence, and perhaps we can do that. And Tovaric, be careful.
Let's get a full combo in. 